Hey, what's good? I'm Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball, and today I'm going to tell you the three reasons why you get beat on defense. All right, defense is an incredibly important part of the game, and if you're a liability on defense, your coach is probably going to sit you on the pine. So today what I want to do is talk about some of the reasons why you're getting beat on defense. That way you can correct it and get more playing time. But also, we want to make sure you're scoring more points. So if you click the top link in the description down below, I'll give you instant free access to my Insta Buckets workout. This is my quick five-minute workout that's absolutely developed to turbocharge your in-game scoring average because we're working on actual in-game reps. So click the top link in the description down below, and that way you don't miss it. Now, when we're thinking about defense, the very first thing that hurts players a lot is over sliding. Now let me talk about that for a second. On defense, we're taught most of the time that we need to slide and we need to slide, right? We've all been to a camper clinic before where we stand in a line and a coach points left and a coach points right and we all do this and we all do this and it's all great, right? That might have worked in the 1950s for everybody, but that's not today's game. Players are too fast, too skilled, too athletic. So the biggest mistake a lot of players make is they overslide. They feel like the only way they can play defense is to slide to stay in front of people. That's not true. To stay in front of people, you need to be able to turn, run, and cut off. Let me say that again. Turn, run, and cut off. So if I'm starting to slide with somebody and it looks like they're starting to go by me, instead of trying to keep it sliding in front of them, if they start to beat me over the edge, I'm going to turn, run, and then try to cut them off and change directions, right? So the whole key, as soon as you think that you might be getting beat, you've got to beat that offensive player back to a spot. And so if you can turn, run, and cut off, already you're gonna be a much, much more dynamic defensive player because you can move a lot faster on the court. All right, so the next thing that gets a ton of players beat on defense is following the basketball. So most of your work defensively is actually done when your player doesn't actually have the basketball. So what happens all the time is like, let's say my offensive player's here, they got the basketball, I'm Ding them up, it's all great. They pass the ball out, right? What most defensive players do, and the reason why a lot of players get beat, is they go, okay, my guy doesn't have any more, he's not a threat, and then they just follow the basketball wherever it goes on the paint. And because of that, their offensive player is moving, they're cutting, they're screening, they're doing things behind their back, and so the defender has to react in a split second and a lot of time can give up buckets. We see it all the time. Somebody will go to help side, they won't see their man, all of a sudden he cuts up, gets a wide open shot. Or maybe they're looking at the basketball over here, their man backdoors and gets a layup, right? So the key that we always like to talk about is see man and ball. See man and ball. At all times, I want to use my peripheral vision, so I'm keeping an eye on my man, and I'm keeping an eye on the basketball. Let's say the basketball's in the complete opposite corner, and my man's here. I might have to drop a little further into help side so I can still see both of them, just like that. Man and ball. If I'm looking at ball, my man's cutting. If I'm looking at just my man, the ball can be doing something different. So if you can see man and ball at the same time, you're going to be much more dynamic on defense, and you'll be a much better communicator for everybody else. All right, so the next thing that kills players on defense is a low defensive IQ. And what I mean by that is it doesn't matter how you move. It doesn't matter how athletic you are. If you can have a high basketball IQ on defense, you can become a much better defender. And by that, I mean things like this. Number one, scouting. You got to know what players are great at. Unless you're just playing like some random open gym that you've never seen the players before, you're going to start knowing tendencies. If you're playing, you know, the same teams in a league or if the same teams on tournaments, you're going to start to notice tendencies that players like to do. And so what you need to do is you need to actively be a scout inside of your brain. A massive mistake that a lot of younger players make is they just go out and play and they don't really think about what the other players on the court are doing. But if I'm guarding people and I go, okay, hey, I know he really likes to step back to his left, or I know that he really likes a hesitation drive to his right. So what you can start doing is you start building profiles for different players and they become so much easier to guard once you know what they like to do, right? So unless it's just some like random open gym that you've never been to before, that makes it a little bit harder. But for every other scenario, you need to know what players like. Now check this, I was coaching like a little seventh grade team a few months ago and we were playing this other team and they had a really nice little guard who's pretty shifty, could shoot from the outside, right? He hit like three step backs in a row where he hezied with his right hand, crossed over and stepped back to his left, right? After one, you're like, okay, that's fine. After two, you're like, ah, he kind of likes doing that move. So the third one should never happen, right? Because as a defender, you should know, hey, that has he step back something that he's looking for all the time. And what you're gonna end up noticing is most players are super one dimensional. Most players have one or two moves that they really like to do. And so if you can sit on that and have a high basketball IQ and kind of be that in-game scouter for yourself, you can automatically become a better defender without even doing any conditioning, any strength training or anything, you know, that has to do with your athleticism. All right. And don't 
forget, if you want to turbocharge your scoring average, make sure you click the top link in the description down below and get instant access to my Insta Buckets workout. It's a five minute workout that's going to turbocharge your scoring, I guarantee it. And if you're new to Shot Mechanics, click that subscribe button, head to the comment section down below, and let me know what sort of video you want to see next. We run pretty much everything offer requests, so leave it down below and hopefully I get to it. And again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching, and until next time, splash on.